Tommy Watt for TCT Boxing in association with IFL TV and MTK Global. I'm joined by Mr. MTK himself. About the knife, how are you doing, mate? I'm all right, thanks, not bad. Big, uh, big event here in Australia. We're not used to these uh, these sort of crowds. It's, um, yeah, what's it, what's it like being in Australia? Have you been out here before? Uh, I've, I've been here twice before, yeah, but not enough for boxing. Just uh, I once seen my dad, he was working here, and come over and talk with a friend of mine, he was living here. He, he, his friend was living here. Uh, but uh, yeah, first time for boxing. Uh, Flew from. We've been here since Friday now. I, mean, I flew from LA with me yeah. and uh, my brother and the rest of the team. And uh, yeah, great response for him. Uh, it's a, you can see it's a huge event here. Walking around town, the signs for it everywhere. So uh, I think you know, they're expecting 55, 60,000 people. So uh, yeah, massive event. And uh, it's great for me to be on a card like this. You know, his last two fights, he's been the headline act. Yeah. It's great now to be, you know, to see to see how big it really gets. You know, to be on the undercard of of a fight like this and especially someone as big as Manny Pacquiao who's one, you know, one of the biggest names in the sport ever yeah. and uh, you know it's, it's good it's good he's getting great exposure it's the, it's the launch of the top ranked deal with ESPN you know it's so going to get massive yeah. viewing figures in the States uh, makes one of the co-feature fights so it's a massive massive exposure for him this fight is. Yeah I mean you guys are doing a great job with Mick so headlining at the Garden for a debut isn't a bad start and then Chicago and now here travelling all around the world and, and showing him to all the fans everywhere. Is there a plan, I understand there's an idea of fighting in Belfast later this year, is that in the works? Yeah, we're, we're hoping December, we're hoping December, it's, it's not set in stone, but that's what we're hoping for. We're, uh, no, he's fighting here, obviously then he's going to go home, he's got uh, a bit of downtime with his family, friends, got a couple of weddings, um, and then probably end of September he'll probably fight back here in the States, possibly again, yeah. the end of October, early November, and then we're hoping to finish the year off in Belfast in December. Excellent, and uh, as far as MTK goes, I understand you're expanding out to, to these shores as well. Is there, is there plans to sign some Aussie fighters and, and make a bit of a footprint over here? Yeah, uh, Anthony Connolly, uh, a, a guy from Dublin, he's, he's living out here in Australia. He's kind of really pushing the MTK Australia brand here, and he's uh, he's talking to a couple of fighters now. We're talking to a few Australian fighters. We're going to look to sign a few. Um, yeah, there's a huge, huge Irish uh, you know, uh, diaspora here in Australia. And, and, and quite a, a, a new, fresh one in terms of. Obviously, historically, years ago, loads came over, but it, since 2008, when the Celtic Tiger, you know, when the crash came, it, yeah. you know, loads of, I think, 600,000 people emigrated from Ireland to Australia. So, a massive uh, Irish population here, Irish community. And, uh, so, you know, there's. there's, there's um, could go down really well. Yeah, I've seen say that one night boxing club we've got the Irish boys like Dara Foley and TJ Dehaney and, and they always sell out their shows in Sydney and, and like I say it's always that, that committed Irish following that you see all over the world. But um, look, thanks a lot for your time mate. What uh, just before we go, what are your thoughts on the, the main event here, Pacquiao Horn and what do you think? Uh, you know what, going? I just I think it's gonna be a great event in the terms that it's you know it's in the football the football stadium and there's gonna be sixty thousand people there. Well I just I think you know Manny Pacquiao's I think probably you know he's past his best but it's still going to take a top fighter to beat him. I don't think Jeff Horns, a top, you know, a top fighter at that level, a good fighter, obviously, boxed in the Olympics for Australia, and he's you know, a, good, a good fighter in his own right, definitely. But you know, Manny Pacquiao is a legend of the sport, isn't he? And you know, mate with a beat him, and a few other guys are beating him. But I don't, I don't think Jeff Horns will, will, will add to that list. That's it. It's a, it's a bit of a step up to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to that sort of level. But thanks a lot. I know you've got a lot of work with, uh, with Mick to do this week, so we'll let you get off. But thanks for your time, Matt, and uh, yeah, hope to speak soon. Cheers, mate. Thank you.